What is going on guys? So I just got home from work a little bit ago and I had to go to do some adulting stuff. I had to go pay rent because that is due um, by the 4th and I'm going to be out of town tomorrow so I needed to get it done today. And then I also had to go to the bank, then go get gas. Um, then I came here and now picked up the camera talking to you guys. I'm trying out a couple different settings with the camera so I'm just going to be messing with it and seeing exactly like how it turns out. You'll probably notice some very subtle changes, but they are changes nonetheless that should improve like the quality of the videos. And I really want to just want to mess with like the lighting and I don't know all this stuff. I have so many different things that I could do, um, but I want to start slow and just kind of tweak with the settings a little bit and get adjusted to this and whatnot. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do some stuff. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Check this out, guys. How mac and cheese, power protein pasta, 16 grams of protein per serving. Look at this, 260 calories, or 280 calories prepped, one and a half grams fat, 16 grams of protein and 45 carbs. So right now I'm cooking up the um, that protein mac and cheese and I'm just waiting for the noodles to boil and then I'm gonna add the um, cheese. And I'm also cooking some green beans and these just have a little bit of butter in them and then I'm going to add some crushed garlic in here to uh, give it a little flavor so these are getting pretty much close to done I'm gonna add the garlic soon wait for this to finish and then we'll have lunch alright guys look at that add a little extra cheese on top of it there got the green beans right there so I'm gonna smash on this real fast and really enjoy it what up guys? Okay, so I just got done with the uh, <clears throat> mac and cheese a couple minutes ago. Then I cleaned up my mess and whatnot, but it was pretty damn good and I highly recommend checking it out if you guys want to. It's called uh, Pow right there. And I think it has like over a thousand calories, or like over 700 calories, over 100 grams of carbs, like 40-ish grams of protein, and I didn't really look at the fat too much. But um, overall, pretty good. I had to add my own um, shredded cheese to it to give it a little more flavor, but it still tasted pretty damn good. And I mean, I don't know, it caught my eye and I thought it would be pretty good and it did turn out to be pretty good. Anyway, right now it is 6, 10 and I need to do some work for the computer and I'm still just trying to like test out the new, just a couple new camera settings just to see how it works out and if it, um, when I go to render it and um, edit it up and whatnot, it looks pretty good. So I'm hoping it turns out well. This is just kind of a test video. I'm gonna do some work from the computer for a little bit and then I'll catch you guys afterwards. What up guys? So real quick, um, I was going to try to take the 60 FPS um, recording and then just cut it down to, to do something slow-mo, but I think you have to just record in like 300. Um, FPS and slow it down to get like the best effect but I was just messing around to see what I could do and it's not gonna work out so I'm not gonna do it but um, I just want to talk to you guys real quick <clears throat> tomorrow is Friday and I'm gonna finish this video up before I go to bed hopefully and then get it up but tomorrow after work I'm actually going to head home for a couple days and kick back with the family see some friends and whatnot and just um, relax and chill and have a good time I'm going to take my GoPro down with me and I might take the Canon as well. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm just gonna go down there and um, just kick back and relax. The next video you see from me will probably be Monday or Tuesday, depending on what time I get back Sunday and all that. So if I get back early enough Sunday, you'll see something Monday. If not, it'll probably be Tuesday. All right, so I saw this quote on Instagram and I thought it was super cool and it really vibed with me. I kinda wanted to share it with you guys real quick says, stop waiting for Friday, for summer, for someone to fall in love with you, for life. Happiness is achieved when you stop waiting for it and make the most out of the moment you're in now, okay? It goes along with the whole thing of turn your expectations into appreciations and your life kind of becomes a miracle, okay? Like, say, for example, you love summer. We're just going to use this for example. You love summer and everything about it. You love the warm weather. You like the fact that you can wear shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops. You can go out on bike rides and you get a tan and you go out on the boat with your friends. You go out to the lake. You go hiking. You're, you just enjoy everything 
about summer and everything about it you love, but you absolutely hate the winter and the cold and the frigid and the negative temperatures and the wind and the snow and the frost on your car, like you might absolutely hate all that, but why would you make yourself miserable for four, five, six months out of the year when you can just really embrace it for what it is and do the most with your life while you're in that, while you're there, and then when the summer comes, it's just, you enjoy it so much more. And that kind of goes with life, like, you're in a situation, it might be a situation that you're not too happy with, but why don't you just make the most out of it and do what you can with what you've got where you are, and things will just start progressing. You, The right time will never come along. The right time will never come along unless you really go out and make the right time. You know, It's kind of been pounded into people's heads that, oh, you're going to your life will change when you hit this age. When you hit 60, retirement's gonna be great and awesome. Like, okay, well, people are just going about their day to day with these 40 hour a week jobs. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because some stuff has to be done, but why don't you do something that you actually enjoy doing so you don't get to 65, 70, 75 and just regret the last 40 years of your life kind of thing. You know, like why would you, it doesn't, like it doesn't click with me at all. I I mean, you're in, just enjoy your life, make the most out of it because when it comes down to it, it's not a matter of resources, but it's a matter of resourcefulness. People complain about not having enough time, enough money, enough this, enough that. Um, when you can just make do with what you've got. I mean, you look, for example, you look at a lot of YouTubers and whatnot and all these vloggers and whatnot, these people that, there's a lot of people that want to get into it, want to get into the video world, but they're like, I don't have the right setup, I don't have the right, um, I don't have the right camera, I don't have the right tripod, I don't have the right lens. Okay, well, you've got a, you've got a cell phone, and it has a camera on it, and the cameras on this phone are probably better than a lot of the cameras when a lot of other people got started. So why don't you just take this phone, focus on the content and the quality of what you're doing, and then over time, things will just, if you keep putting in time, things will just get better. Like you just grow. Make the most out of the moment, out of the time you're in now. Do what you can with it so you don't regret it later. I'm gonna finish up this video. I'm gonna go home, kick back, chill for a couple days. I'll see you guys next week.